to go out and also defend Giannis for extended stretches over the course of the, the series. It's just impressive what, what, what he's been able to accomplish with this group. Um, you got to tip your cap. You know, you pointed out <coughs> the six turnovers and, you know, people say, oh, that's a lot of turnovers. It's actually not relative to his team because they, as a team, they only have 10. Right. And like, your best players typically are the guys that lead you in turnovers yeah. because yeah. they're the ones that they see the best defense, He's got the they bonus play in a crowd, yeah. and they're going to have to play under duress a lot. And ultimately, though, because he takes that responsibility of that facilitating, you know, he takes the pressure off everybody else. Now, the other guys don't have to try to do too much. They can play to their strengths. And so ultimately, you look at six turnovers. To me, I'm like, we had 10 turnovers as a, as a team. They only had six in the last game. Mm -hmm. And they had 11. So a low turnover game, uh, you know, which I really think helped them. And after that first quarter, you look at Milwaukee, they really struggled. And in the two quarters, just like in game uh, five, they could not score in the second and fourth quarters. They right. scored eight, 19 in the second, 18 in the fourth. And I, I go back to that adjustment with their bench. I, I really think it affected them and didn't allow them to be at their best. Hey, look who's got a trophy with him. Kawhi Leonard and Kyle Lowry after the game six closeout win. Who's down front and to your left, Jones. Congratulations, both of you. Mark Schwartz, ESPN. I want to uh, ask you both about that one play in the middle of the fourth quarter where Kyle, you uh, picked off a pass and uh, drove to the hoop and then waited for Kawhi. Um, just how, you know, significant a play was that? And tell me about what you saw and, and why you waited. Um, it was a, uh, it was a momentum, you know, kind of capper. You know, we kind of was on a run. And uh, why not feed the big dog, let the big dog eat. And, um, you know, I'm always going to look for my, you know, the, the guy that I know can finish with the best of them, and uh, that's what he did. He, he, he finished with the best of them right there. When, when you were able to complete that, that play in that fashion? It was great. You know, um, like Kyle said, we was on a run, and, um, you know, the, the building exploded after that dunk. Kind of got us uh, a little bit more adrenaline to get, an, get another stop. And, you know, I've been playing with him for a while, a while now, and, and you know, just chemistry right there. So I know just to keep running with Kyle. If he don't have nothing easy, he's going to make the right play, like he said. Uh, so we'll go to John, who's sort of halfway back on the left. <laughs> Kyle, uh, John Schumann, NBA.com. Uh, you guys have been the best team in the Eastern Conference over the last six years, if you take cumulative. Um, but playoffs, you know, you, you weren't able to break through. What does it mean to you, the guy that's been here the whole time, um, to finally break through? How much are you savoring this right now? Um, it, means, it means a lot. Um, you know, it's taken a long time to get here in my career, 13 years, seven years here. Um, I've, I've ran to one guy for a while, and, you know, we were given an opportunity. He left, and we beat a really good team in Milwaukee. Um, for me, you know, I'm savoring the moment, but, um, you know, I'm not satisfied. You know, our goal is to, to win, a, win the NBA championship. Uh, championship, and um, you know we're just going to keep getting better and plugging the way. Uh, to Jackie, who's standing up at the back left. Uh, Jackie McMullen, ESPN. Kawhi, Kyle's known Nick Nurse for about six years. This was your first year with him. I wonder if you can give us an idea of what he was like in the huddle tonight when you're down, and how he contributed, you feel, to where you are now. Uh, he was pretty composed. Um, you know, like I told Ernie out there, we were down about I think 15 points, 13 points in that third quarter with about six minutes left. And he told us that we were just here last game to keep fighting, keep striving one possession at a time. We all felt, um, you know, like we were still in the game. We had a little bit of momentum left. And we just talked amongst each other once again, and just, you know, said, let's go out here and enjoy it. And, um, you know, we could play better offense and defense. And we ended up doing that, and we ended up winning the game. To Dan, who's uh, sitting down and on the Kawhi, uh, Dan Wecky with the Los Angeles Times. It's been five years since you've been back to the NBA Finals, concerning everything you've had to go through, the injuries and stuff like that. What does it mean to you to, to get back to that stage? I mean, it's great. Um, you know, I worked so hard to get to this point uh, with the season I had last year. Um, you know, just always betting on myself and, and knowing what I, um, you know, just knowing what I feel and, you know, what's right for me. And, you know, end up coming here with a great group of guys, a lot of talent, 
And then I just, um, you know, strive with them every day. Uh, you know, I just try, kind of bought into to their system. And, um, you know, Kyle helped me a lot with my transition uh, on the court and off the court, asking them questions, and him just pushing me on the floor as well and letting me know what to do um, in situations when he, when he calls plays. And, you know, it just helps. But, you know, all that hard work just put together, and, then, you know, now we're here. And it's, it's exciting. Uh, to Michael, who's sitting down on, on the left? Uh, Michael Lee with The Athletic. Um, Kawhi, uh, out there on the court, um, Masai just said you're the Masai just said you're the best player in the league, and he plays in Toronto. What does it feel like to hear that said about you, and how do you feel you've established yourself in that position during this playoff run? Uh, I mean, I don't really judge my you know, game like that. Um, I'm more of a team team aspect. See what my team is doing. Just want to win. I don't I don't care about being the best player. I want to be the best team. I always said that. And you know, um, just before the season when we made the trade, Masai felt that way about me. He told me how he felt and why he made the trade. And um, you know, it's turning out. It's turning out well now. I mean, we're in the finals and we're not done yet. I will do two more questions, please. So there's one down here. And go ahead. Yep. Oh, I apologize. Was there someone? Else? Oh, Mark again. Kyle, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Um, as you said, you ran into a, a guy several times at this time of year, and you couldn't get past him. Um, what is it that made this group capable of doing something that no other Raptors team was ever able to accomplish? <laughs> uh, I think we just honestly, man, I think the one thing about Kawhi and you guys all know it is he literally stays level-headed all the time um, you know he never gives up he never gets down you know he shows some emotion after um, game seven uh, against the Sixers but I think he brought that you know him and Danny brought that that, that championship uh, pedigree here and just kind of stand um, level level-headed and even killed and then you got Marcus Hull comes in another veteran that, you know had been in the league a long time and, um, you know, we just had a bunch of guys that, you know, this whole season we've been played through injuries and played through this and that. And, you know, this year, you know, Kawhi coming off the year he had last year, you know, play, you know, he, we, we did a good job of, you know, his low management. They did a, they, the staff did a great job of that. Um, but we just played hard and stayed, stayed the course. Um, you know, Nick Nurse did a good job of setting the tone early in the year. And you knew we were working for April, May, and June. And um, now we're um, – you know, we'll start June now. Uh, and the last question, which is right there. Kyle, uh, Reed Forgrave, CBS Sports. Uh, you've been here seven years. You know this fan base is sort of fatalistic, that they kind of assume things will go wrong. <laughs> and But do, do you feel that, like, things have flipped, uh, that, that you're not just affecting this team, but you're affecting the city? I think we just went out there and did our job. I think we just go out there and play extremely hard. You know, we got great fans. They support us through, you know, the good times, the bad times. And, you know, right now is a great time. And, um, you know, we're, we're glad that they're our fans. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Come on, Kawhi. And they don't have to get on a plane. Game one of the NBA Finals comes to Toronto on Thursday night. Much more of our post-game coverage of the clincher next.